I thank you very much for your attention, and I'll be happy to take your questions if uh, time permits. Any questions for Iraq Liberates? There's one question over there in the middle. That's how it starts. Uh, the microphone is right in the center, all the way here. Is that working? Oh, now it's working. Okay. Um, I'm just curious as to how we would bring uh, ethics and morality to youngsters so when they grow up they have this level, this idea of how we bring that globally, to, you know, in terms of the substance of their life. Uh, you know, the ethics and morality. How, how young, particularly for youngsters, if we can bring that into the education system. Right, thank you very much. I think it is a fantastic question because uh, the technology which we are developing is, uh, as we agree, could be one of the most powerful technology we have. It can have, a, a, it could be a last technology actually as a human species we develop. Therefore, it is very important to be extremely careful in the design of that. Therefore, uh, issues like uh, ethical issues should be taken uh, care of from the beginning stage. And uh, some, of the, uh, some of the activities which our center is undertaking is the educational activities. So we're conducting a number of um, trainings for different uh, stakeholders. And we are trying to penetrate also in educational institutions. And that would include education of younger generation. That uh, people throughout the globe would know what are the issues, what we actually have at hand, what is myth, what is reality, and how to ensure that whatever technology is coming out of it will be complying with our norms, with human uh, morale and ethics as well. Uh, we have uh, room for one more question, and there's three people, so let's uh, start with the first person who raised question. Raise your hand over there. Microphone, mm -hmm. please. But Apologies for the other two. We like you so much, but she raised her hand first. <laughs> but at the same time, I will be available to have a private chat with anyone who is interested about the issue, and so I'm here. And would you mind stand up and introduce yourself first? Okay. Um, so in terms of the global development, uh, as far as education is concerned, um, uh, from the fact that pretty much of the world um, is still struggling with uh, illiteracy. So in the developing countries, how um, is the United Nations planning to catch up with that? Because if we're moving so fast um, in that part of the world with this uh, advanced and sophisticated technology, uh, but people have to know how to read and write first. So right, it's a, it's, a, it's a really good question, uh, certainly. Uh, there is a lot of developments happening in the developing world and in the developed world, world and in transition economies, and we're conducting a number of activities to, to contribute to that. For example, uh, on the issues of the literacy and education, one of the UN Sustainable Development Goals directly um, um, uh, ad addresses the question on uh, quality education. And we are actually developing some of the tools within the larger United Nations family, how to employ AI-driven technology actually to contribute to that uh, substance. So we had a number of discussions within UN and, and some of the UN agencies are fully dedicated to that issue, to penetrate that technology for answering that, uh, this issue and this problem. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. All right, Tufi. Thank, Thank you. you.